Hello guys, welcome back to HTML Camp. In this video, we'll be creating a 3D flip card using HTML and CSS. Make sure to stay till the end to find out how you can make a similar system. Also, remember to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content. That being said, let's jump into the video. Alright, so I'll type in the basic structures and link the script to my stylesheet. In your browser, go to icons.getbootstrap.com and copy the CDN. Now, paste the code in the head tag of your script. In the body tag, create a dev with a class of container. Create another dev and set the class to card. In it, create a dev with a class of card inner. In this dev, create two more devs, one with a class of front side and another with a class of back side. Now, open the website with the VS Code Live Server extension. In the front side dev, create an IMG tag and set the SRC to images slash user dot JPEG. In the backside dev, create an H1 tag and type in a name. Below that, create a P tag and type some text in it like I have done. Preview the website. In the style sheet, using the universal selector, set the padding and margin on the website to zero. Set box sizing to border box and set the font family to poppins. Reference the container tag and set the width to 100%, the height to 100VH, and set the background color to hashtag 2A2A2A. Set the display to flex, align items to center and justify content to center. Preview the changes made. Set the width of the card tag to 370 pixels and the height to 470 pixels. Also, set the perspective to 1000 pixels and set the cursor to pointer. For the card inner tag, set the position to relative, the width to 100% and the height to 100%. Set text align to center. Now, preview the website. For the front side dev, set the width and height to 100% and set the back face visibility to hidden. Reference the image and set the width and height to 100%. Set the object fit to cover and the border radius to 10 pixels. Reference the backside tag and set the background visibility to hidden. Set the background color to hashtag 0D6EFD and set the color to white. Set the position to absolute, the height to 100% and the width to 100%. Preview the changes made. Now, let's reposition the back face in the correct place. To do that, set top to 0 and left to 0. Also, set border radius to 10 pixels. Preview the website. Set the display of the backside tag to flex, set the flex direction to column, align items to center and justify content to center. Now, let's style the text in the card. Reference the H1 tag and set the font size to 35 pixels. Set margin bottom to 10 pixels and set the font weight to 500. Now, reference the P tag and set the font size to 18 pixels and the font weight to 300. Also, set margin bottom to 30 pixels. Preview the changes made. In the backside tag, create a dev with the class of social media. In it, create an anchor tag and an I tag in it. Set the class to BIBI Facebook to create the Facebook icon. Duplicate the anchor tag and change the class name to create the Instagram and Twitter icons. Preview the changes made. 
Reference the i tags in the social media dev and set the color to white and the background color to hashtag 0050E4. Set the font size to 20 pixels, the padding to 10 pixels by 14 pixels, and the border radius to 50%. Also, give it a margin of 6 pixels to the left and right. Preview the changes made. Below the social media dev, create a button tag and set the type to button. Set the button text to continue. Reference the button tag and set margin top to 60 pixels. Set the background color to white and the color of the button text to hashtag 0D6EFD. Set the border to none, the font size to 18 pixels and the font weight to 400. Give it a padding of 10 pixels to the top and bottom and 25 pixels to the left and right. Also, set the border radius to 50 pixels and set the cursor to pointer. Preview the changes made. Let's now add the 3D flip with some CSS. Add the hover pseudo class on the card tag and set the transform rotate Y of the card inner tag to minus 180 degrees. Now, set the transform rotate Y of the backside tag to 180 degrees. For the card inner tag, set the transform style to preserve 3D and set the transition to transform in one second. Now preview the changes. If you found this video to be helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate the support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.